Hello Slicey Dicers, this is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Parrot from QSP Outdoor. This is a pretty new company. I've been told by a couple of other YouTubers, you gotta get your hands on one of these things, man. They're amazing, because they're only 21 bucks and they're really great. I did as I was told, and I really, really am impressed. Very glad that I got it. Uh, this is a knife that is, it's kind of one of those Amazon things like the Honey Badger or, you know, the Tangram, something like that. But this one, actually, you can get from White Mountain Knives, and I've heard that there are going to be a few other major knife retailers picking them up. So if you feel more comfortable buying through one of them, where you get a little bit more support, if something's wrong with it, you can return it or whatever more easily, then you can do that. White Mountain Knives, great company to buy from. I buy stuff from them all the time. You can find it on there. As I said, for $21. They do have other knives that are a bit more expensive, but everything's less than 50 bucks. They came out with a whole bunch of different designs. They're not cloners, they're not copies, they're not anything like that. It's a legit company, and uh, this is a pretty impressive little product, I do have to say. It comes in a very nice little box. You got a little QSP, Better Knife, Better Life. Uh, it's, it's not about the best slogan in the world, but it's fine. Um, pretty nice little crush-proof box. You got the little foamy in there little thank you so much for bought qsp knife not the best english <laughs> the thing in there i'm gonna say we're not gonna go any farther than that i'm not gonna read the whole thing because it'll get me in trouble but uh yeah not the best english they might want to spend a little more money on the translation of the uh the little information slip in there it is a chinese knife obviously uh for that price that kind of almost goes without saying lately but uh but pretty cool little product let's do some uh some specs before we get too much farther into size comparisons we have an overall length of eight and a quarter inches, blade length of three and a quarter inches, blade thickness just 0.11 inch blade stock, so pretty thin, a uh, little slicey little blade, handle thickness 0.51 inches, weight 3.17 ounces, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the dimensions. They, they could have made it a, a little bit lighter. There's there's no like, there's absolutely no weight relief inside here. Not really that surprising, I guess, for the price they charge for it, but uh, they could have made it a little lighter. Let's do some size comparisons. Let's do the uh, one of our standards, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 up first. It's obviously a little smaller, quite a bit smaller than a PM2. And now let's, I'm going to mostly do size comparisons with other kind of budgety sort of knives. So we will do the Steel Will Mini Cut Jack. It's a little longer than the Cut Jack your almost exactly the same price k-bar dozer it's just a little bit longer than a dozer yeah actually pretty close to the same as a dozer kind of think about doing a comparison between these two because they're both right around 20 bucks you have the ontario rat model 2 almost exactly the same as that and lastly we will do the Kershaw Atmos. Little, just a skosh bigger than an Atmos. Okay, let's talk more about this knife. Uh, I really like the look of it. It's very simple, but there's nothing offensive about it. I like the look of a simple drop point blade. This is about the most simple drop point blade style you could possibly get. Uh, you do have actual G10 handles, which is a nice thing. A lot of uh, knives in this price range have fancy plastic, so that that's really nice. Um, everything feels good and and quality and, and well put together. There was nothing objectionable. There's no like really sharp edges or anything like that. It it feels quality wise. I would say it feels like a fifty dollar knife. Like just in your hand, just the way that you know. I always say that thing you can't explain, but. It, it just it just feels like about a fifty dollar knife, which is pretty good for twenty one bucks. Can't complain about that. Um, I, I'm very happy with the quality. I'm happy with the box that came in. You feel like you bought something that that's worthwhile. You don't feel like you bought some cheap Chinese knockoff. It doesn't feel like that at all because it's not, and uh, it doesn't. Some of the, some of the companies that even don't do knockoffs, when you get them, they still kind of feel like knockoffs. This doesn't. This feels like a well. Well designed, well put together, well thought out piece right out of the box as soon as you put it in your hand, which is very a very good thing to say for twenty one dollars. I don't there not isn't a whole lot of billboarding. All you got is a little QSP logo right there. That's it, and oh somewhere buried down in there if you can see it, it says four forty C, 
which is a completely adequate steel for $21. Not going to complain about that. It's better than 8CR13. I, I would much rather have it than that. So that's not bad. And like I said, G10. So uh, not bad at all. You do have a little lanyard loop there and stuff. It's a right hand, left hand, tip up only, but it's a, it's a very, very well designed knife. Now this blade, as I said, very simple drop point shape. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. You got a pretty good tip on there with some schmutz because I opened a box before I started the video. I should have known enough to, uh, to wipe that off before I did. Very nice little tip on there, plenty robust enough, and really, really, really sharp out of the box. They did a great job. It's about 20 thousandths behind the edge and pretty thin blade stock, so it's not a bad slicer. As you can see, it's great. It works excellently. Awesome slicer. No complaints about the sharpening. No complaints about the blade shape. <clears throat> Gosh, I don't know why I'm so flummy right now. Also, uh, no complaints ergonomically. I can get my full four fingers on there. Completely fine. No real hot spots. It's not mind-blowingly awesome ergonomically. I mean, it's not like it feels like a firm handshake. Like it's how I like to describe like a really good knife. Just feels like a, like it's shaking your hand back. It's not quite there, but it's not it's not bad at all. It feels comfortable. There's nothing objectionable about it whatsoever. Jimping up here, perfectly placed and perfectly adequate. I really like the jimping on this. It works awesome. It's not so sharp that it's annoying, but it does lock you in pretty good. Very natural place for my thumb to rest. I, I really like the jimping on this. They did an excellent job with that. Really, really, really good job. No hot spots from the clip at all. Just very, 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 very good. I, I do very much like the ergonomics on this, and that jimping is outstanding. Um, Carry-wise, it's uh, not a deep carry clip, but eh, you kind of don't expect that, really. And it is kind of their own whole pattern, as far as I can tell. I tried a few other ones, and nothing matches. But not a whole lot sticking out, so that's not bad. Uh, especially in this black, it, there's not going to be anything noticeable. It does come in other colors, which one of which is a unique choice. It comes in this black, OD green normal choice or pink so uh yeah if there's a, a lady in your life that likes pink or you are a man who really likes pink this is a nice cheap really good knife to offer them because it does come in pink which is kind of cool a lot of people some people do like that i guess but uh if you had the pink one in your pocket what long way of getting there you got the pink one in your pocket people are going to see it but the black and the od green not bad not offensive at all uh deployment you're running on the the Often uh, common, I guess I would say now, combination of uh, each side has a phosphor bronze washer with a very, very, very thin little Teflon washer also. So both sides run on that same thing. But the detent is great. It rockets right out every time. It's pretty impossible to fail. You can slow roll it if you really want to, but you kind of have to keep your thumb on it. But if you want to flick it, it's going to pop out every single time. I'm putting no wrist in this whatsoever, and it's just popping out every single time. They did a great job. Drop shot pretty well. You got to give it a little shake, of course. It's on it's on washers. It's not on bearings, but uh, lockup's pretty decent. Fully engaged, but no more than that, so you have some room for it to wear in, which I appreciate that. It feels in deployment. Yeah, I... I'm not quite as good as the Rat 2. Damn close, though. Damn close to what a Rat 2 feels like, which is a, a pretty good compliment, because as far as stuff running on that, that same kind of washer, Teflon combination, uh, this is probably the best. And this is really close, and it costs... I can't believe I'm saying this. It, this particular carbon one, this costs less than half as much. But if you were looking at the regular ones, you know, it's, it's a lot less. It's like, what, two... Yeah, it's almost half the price of a regular one, so that that's crazy. Um, that's so. My overall opinion is, wow, this is really impressive. I'm very glad that people pushed me to get one and try one. I don't have a chance to look at every little thing. Uh, I, I watch a lot of videos, but I don't watch all of them, and uh, I hadn't caught any of this yet. I'd seen it come up a few times, but I hadn't bothered to watch any of them. But a couple of my friends have said, "Dude, you got to try this one out." And I tracked one down, and I'm very glad that I did. Very, very cool. You're getting a whole lot for $21. It's a really, really great knife. The budget knife, this is such a great time to be a budget knife fan. You don't have to go and buy 
Scanzos and all kinds of other weird stuff and lands and all that kind of stuff off of, you know, Gearbest and all those sites. You don't have to anymore. You can actually buy sites from more, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess more, not, not this isn't good, more real companies that you don't have to feel odd about buying them. This QSP, it's available on regular knife retailer sites. And I feel a lot better buying something like this than I do buying a Ganzo, but that's just me. But, uh, I really do like this. This is an awesome budget option for 2018. And, uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this. I really am. It kind of makes you think, like, what are we doing? Why are we buying more expensive knives? Why are we buying $200 knives? The $21 knife is just pretty darn nice. It's not going to stop me, but it makes me think about it for a second. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.